Okay, question 31 says, what is the value of y in the equation below? Now, in order to solve this, we are going to perform the LCM, which is uh, 4y plus 3, this is over 5, is equal to 12. Now, looking at this, the LCM is going to be 5. 5 into 1 is 5. 5 times 2y will give us 10y plus, we're going to have 4y plus 3 is equal to 12. Now, from here, we can cross multiply. This is going to be 10y plus 4 into y plus 3 is equal to 60. So, here we can open the bracket. This will be plus 4 times y will give us 4y. 4 times 3 will give us 12, and this is 60. So, this is going to be 10 plus 4y will give us 14y plus 12, will give us 60. Now, from here, we can say 14y collecting like times will be 60 minus 12. 14y is going to give us, 60 minus 12 is going to give us, um, that will be 48. Therefore, our y is going to be 48 divided by 14. Now, how many 14s are in 48? I think that's 42, and that will be 3 whole number. So, we we'll have um, 6 over 14. Now, 6 divided into 2 is 3. Um, 6 divided by 2 will give us 3, 6 into 14 will give us um, 7. So our final answer is 3 or number 3 over 7. So the correct answer here is going to be A. So the next question says, the cash price of a water tank is 22,500 shillings. The half purchase price of the tank is 15% more than the cash price. Tiano bought the tank on her purchase terms. He finally paid he finally paid twenty two thousand shillings as total monthly installment. How much did he pay as deposit? Now, in order to solve this question, um, the first thing you need to know this is uh, a half purchase question. Now, this is the actual price of the tank. Now, you know that if it's to pay um. Um, through the hire purchase method, he's going to pay higher. So the hire purchase is 15% more. So what we are going to do is, we're going to find 15 over 100 multiplied by 22500. So um, when you do that, you are going to get, um, that will be double zero, is going to cancel double zero. So we will be doing um, that, 225 multiplied by 15. So when you multiply this, you are going to get 3375. Now this is the extra amount then. That means the high purchase price, purchase price will be 22500 plus 3375. And that will give you 25875. Now having established this, remember he paid 22,000. So to get the money he paid as deposit, that means um, he, he, he finally paid 22000 as um, total monthly installments. How much did he pay as deposit? To get the deposit, we are going to do 25875 subtract 22000. So that's going to give us 578, this will be 3, 3875. That means he paid this as deposit. That now helped him pay um, 22,000 over monthly installment. So our correct answer here is going to be the B. So um, this will take us to the next question, which says, um, My mom is so bought the following items from a show. Now, um, the first thing she bought is two packets of hunger at um, 130 shillings at 2 times 130 is going to give us um, um, is going to give us uh, that's 260 she bought all these and she paid for the item using two 1000 shilling notes how much balance did she receive now 5 loaves of bread so 5 loaves of bread at 50 shillings for each of the bread is going to give us uh, 250 now 4 and half liters of milk that's four and a half, four and a half at 60 shillings per liter. That's 60 times four and a half. Now, if you do 60 times four and a half, four and a half is the same thing as nine over two multiplied by 60. 
So two year one, two year is what? 30. So you are going to get 270. So this is going to give us uh, 270. Now, this one says 3 kg of sugar for 270 shillings. Now, you know sugar is measured in bags. So the 3 kg is a sack. So the 3 kg of sugar, um, 3 kg of sugar is going to give 270. So now, all you need to do is sum this up. This will be 0. 6 plus 5, it's um, 11. 11 plus 7 is 18. 18 plus 7 is 25. 5, carry 2. So 2, 4, 6, 8, 10. So total money she spent is this. Now, if she paid with 2, 1,000 shillings, that means she paid with 2,000. So to get her balance would be 2,000. Subtract 1050 and that will give you 950 shillings. So the correct answer here is send B. So I'll mark my B. Now that will take us to the next question that says um, a salesman earns a basic salary of 20,000 per month. He is also paid a commission of 10.5% on goods sold above 100,000 shillings. In a certain month, he earned a total of 41,000 shillings. What was his total sales for that month? Now, the first thing you need to establish is his salary is 20,000 plus. Now, he earns, if he earns 10.5% for sales greater uh, than. 100,000 shillings. Now, what this means is if he earned 41,000, that means this must be 20,000 plus X. So that means X will be 41,000. And remember, X is commission. You need to know that. X is now the commission. This will be 41,000 minus 20,000. That means he earned a commission of 21,000 shillings. Now, having know that he earned 21,000. Then, what was his total sales for that month? Okay, so for us to establish his total sales, um, that means um, we need to find what he earned on this commission. So, what we are going to do here is uh, we will do 10.5 over 100 times his total sales will give us what? What he earned on his commission. Remember, because he earned above 20,000, he was paid 41,000. Now, if you cross multiply, this is going to be 10.5x is equal to 20, um, 210, 210, then 2100035. So this is 2.1 million. Now, recall that 10.5 is the same thing as uh, in fraction, this will be. 10.5 is 10 and a half. So this is going to give us what? 21 over 2. So this is 21x over 2 is equal to 2100000. So when you cross multiply, this would be um, 21x is equal to 2 times this would be 4200000. Now divide both sides by 21. Okay? 21. So 21 will cancel 21. Now x will be this divided by this. Now when you do 4200000 divided by 21, you are going to have 21 here is 1. 21 in 42, it's a 2. And we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 5 zeros. So that means uh, this is actually what he sold. So the correct answer here is C.